the most controversial top five programming languages for 2025. If you're watching this video and you are a developer or someone trying to learn how to code, you need to pay attention to this list. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you show me some love in the comment section and give this a like, okay? So let's start with this, okay? So here we go. We have the top five programming languages for 2025. This is going to be the most controversial list, but it's going to make sense if you really want to get a job or you want to get into this tech industry and everything that's happening now. The first one that we have right here is HTML and CSS. Now, why do I have HTML, CSS? Some of you guys might fight with me and say, well, HTML, CSS is not a programming language. Well, by definition, most likely you're right, okay? But this is one of the two languages and I'm putting both of them together because pretty much, you know, HTML without CSS, it just it makes no sense. But you need to know this, okay? If you're planning on building websites, if you're planning on building web applications, which is right now pretty much the default of the type of apps that people are actually uh, creating, the whole space of anything that has to do with building anything online comes around this, okay? This is the foundation. If you don't understand HTML, CSS, you are going to struggle. And most jobs are expecting for you to know this. This is pretty much like the ABCs of programming, okay? So HTML, CSS, it's a must. That's number five. And as you can see, we got the list in a reverse order, and then we're gonna go and give you the number one. So the next one that we have right here is Python. So yes, you guys probably have been seeing Python has been picking up steam over the years and it's a great programming language. And now when it comes to AI and all of the extra tools that's out here, most are built with Python, right? A lot of companies are hiring Python developers and people with experience with Python. You have to know Python. This is something that you shouldn't leave out, okay? At least know the foundation of it to be able to use some of the packages that's out here and libraries, right? Just to make your life much easier because companies will ask you for it, okay? The next one that we have right here is good old PHP. Yes, PHP. You might say, oh my God, PHP, spaghetti code. What the hell? I don't want to be learning this, Joe. Why are you putting me to learn PHP? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Basically, the internet is PHP, okay? About 70, 80% of all websites on the web are built with PHP. PHP is not going away. Every single year, PHP is getting better and better. And with the Laravel community, it's just the icing on the cake, okay? PHP is one of the best languages for you to learn in 2025 and beyond, okay? So definitely pay attention to PHP. Now, the next one we have right here, it's no secret, right? We have to put JavaScript here. And yes, we're gonna add TypeScript, right? JavaScript slash TypeScript, because JavaScript is the programming language of the web. When it comes to actually building interactivity, like let's say, for example, something like this, you see how this just went in and popped up and we're able to click here. Guess what? This is what makes every single website interactive. Without JavaScript, it's just basically a static file. Okay, you can't do anything without JavaScript. So guess what? JavaScript is a must. Now TypeScript is something that a lot of companies are using when you're working with big teams. So guess what? You should also understand how to use JavaScript with TypeScript. All right, so that's number two. Now we're gonna go to number one and the most controversial one. Okay, this is why this list is very controversial. We're gonna get into it right now. You're gonna see what I'm talking about and it's English. <laughs> you say, Joe, English is not a programming language. What are you doing? This is the dumbest list we've ever seen. <laughs> but the truth is that knowing English right now, okay, is probably the best programming language that you could probably have, okay? It's no secret that now we have a whole bunch of different AI tools that allow us to create things just by talking to it, just by writing to it. 
But guess what? You need to actually know how to write the questions, how to write the prompts, right? What are the details that you need to give it? And you actually need to be good with English. Now, yes, we could also put in any other language. You got Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, right? A lot of this uh, new models, right? And, and AI, they're going to allow you to write in other languages, okay? But they are based off this. So if you want to go in and you want to prepare for the future, you need to get your English up. With English, you're going to be able to generate the right prompts to be able to go in and start building your applications. This is something that's going to be expected from you. It sounds dumb and you're like, English, right? It's just a regular language. But again, this is going to be probably the most powerful programming language in the coming years. Okay, knowing how to write, knowing how to read, knowing how to actually communicate with this new AI models that's coming out, that's going to be a game changer. And this is something that a lot of people need to work on because I see a lot of people struggling writing prompts and it's because their English is not up to par. What are the top five programming languages? HTML, CSS, Python, PHP, JavaScript, in English. <laughs> I don't know. How did we end up here? But yes, this is 2025 and beyond. This is where we at right now. Now, again, guys, for anybody that's watching this and you're looking to get into the tech industry, you're struggling to find a job, you're struggling to even learn how to code, right? Or even learn any of these new tech skills. Guess what? You want to come to codingphase.com, guys. This is the best platform, right? This is a platform built not for people that already been coding for years and years and years, right? It's not just for the guys that went to college. This is for the average person. This is for helping people, regular folks, switching careers into the tech industry. We basically help you out with the whole process. Everything from entry level positions, right? To junior level position, mid level, senior level, right? We go in and hold your hand through the whole process. We're giving you basically everything that you need to succeed. Shout out to everybody in the Hall of Fame. You could go into the website, check out some of the stories of some of the subscribers that came in, learn how to code, got into the game. They're working right now. Every single person that you see in here, right? Everything that comes included with codingphase.com. You got $8,000 worth of programming courses. You got Tech Accelerator program. You got 12-hour group coaching, career paths, uh, curated jobs list, interview questions, uh, recommended portfolio templates, unlimited portfolio reviews, and access to the private community. And for a limited time only, you get to try CodingPhase.com 100% for free for the next seven days. All you have to do is click on the link in the description, click on the link on the pin, comment, and basically it's going to bring you to this page. From here, you can try out our services, right? Seven days free. I suggest you go and watch this video. It's under 10 minutes. It's basically going to explain everything that you're going to get and also to how this is going to work for you to actually land your first position and get into the game. Again, guys, you're going to get access to every single course and every single service that we have at codingphase.com. It's a lot, right? So you have access to all of that. Not only that, but we're also throwing a 30% off if you continue with us after the seven days. Go try it out, right? One of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I want to make it accessible to everybody to get into the game. And I want to give you access to this so you can actually see what you're going to be getting on Coding Phase. Again, go ahead, check out the link in the description. I'll see you guys later. Peace.